Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash, and the true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh, who this word ignorantly calls God. The true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem in the name. And Rakaku Dash was through the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. I am the brother Yuanathon, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Beach Church. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, all right? And um, I just want to go over this article that I've seen, all right? And it's dealing with mass, um, mass deportations. Okay, and it's coming from the, uh, the, the new president of the United States, which is Donald J. Trump. And through the spirit, the apostles and, and others of Great Millstone, you know, and this is through faith, we believe Donald J. Trump, to, you know, to be, uh, to be Nero and reincarnation, all right, which is an Edomite, okay, and, you know, Nero... In the past, did many draconian acts, many draconian measures. Okay, so that same spirit is back here on the planet Earth. And Yahweh Bashamal Shah is going to use that same spirit to bring the sword. Okay, sword. And, and the sword can come in various ways. All right, we understand that Esau Edom was blessed by the sword, man. So the point being is what? The point being is, all right, we have to stay on our watch. We have to remain circumspect we have to remain to be sober spiritually as the scripture says to be vigilant to be sober because our adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour all right so we always got to be on our watch we always got to be circumspect man you know being a watchman the lord has called us lord willing we be a part of that number the lord has called us on to be watchmen unto the house of israel and we also have been instructed to give the warning from the Heavenly Father, all right, to those that have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, okay? And we're at the end of this thing. And what I mean by we are at the end of this thing, we are at the end of this world. We are at the end of this rulership. And all signs are showing that, okay? That's why Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, says to measure thou the time diligently in itself and that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be measuring the time okay and to measure the time is to to measure the time okay is to you know with the time that you have been given and you're supposed to be using your time wisely right like the book of ephesians says real fast before we go into this article all right the book of ephesians says Ephesians chapter 5, starting at verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So we're supposed to be walking circ uh, circumspectly. Okay, the scriptures speak about, you know, giving no offense that the ministry be blamed. So when we're in our day to day, we're not supposed to be upholding ourselves like niggards. We're not supposed to be upholding ourselves like people of this world. Okay, we're supposed to be living minimalist lifestyles, okay, to the point where, you know, you're like uh, Clark Kent, you know, and that reference comes from the movie Superman, okay, in the day Superman was Clark Kent, but at night or whenever, you know, needed, Clark Kent became Superman, and that's how we are, we have that cloak about us, man, in our day-to-day -day you know, we don't do too much. We, you know, work our job. We, you know, take care of our family, take care of our bills. And then, you know, when it's time to teach, when it's time to go on the highways and byways, okay, it's like we're supermen, you see? So the point being is that the ministry be, be not blamed. And that's why exactly that hey, we have to be what? We have to be walking circumspectly, man. Okay. Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil and the word evil is going back into what bad times 
So redeeming the time because the days are evil, right? The days are evil. And we're at the end of this man's rulership. All right, even to the point where the Apostle Paul in the book of 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter speaks about how the man of sin shall be revealed. Even in the book of Jeremiah, it speaks about how the Heavenly Father shall discover or uh, Jeremiah 49 it goes into how the Heavenly Father shall make Esau bear. All right. He shall discover his uh, secret places, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So the Heavenly Father has made Esau bear to the point where the elite banking families have been revealed. All right. To the point where these uh, different companies which are ran and ruled by the elite banking families have been discovered all right everyone knows that the, you know everyone with a right mind knows that the, the people that are bringing these atrocities onto the planet earth are the wicked okay so the man of sin is being revealed to the point where we're a fast revelation 12 chapter in the 12 verse and it reads Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. And that's pertaining unto us. Alright. Through the Spirit. Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Alright. And the reason why we're rejoicing, because this is the end of Esau Edom's rulership, right? Esau is the end of the world. Pursuing the second Ezra is the sixth chapter. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. So Esau is the end of the world, man. And that word world is going to what? Okimeni. Okay. Or uh, if it's not Okimeni, ok it's going into what? An age. Okay. Uh, a time. A rulership. And this is the end of this man's age. This is the end of this man's rulership. All right. And that's why going back to Revelation 12 verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice. It says, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. So woe, woe meaning what? Destruction. And it says, for the devil, and who is the devil? This devil is talking about the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon, Satan. All right, and it's beautiful because the beloved brother Adawan, he went into the chapter uh, concerning Yahweh Shai, when the spiritual demon, Satan, tempted and tried Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah rebuked the spiritual demon Satan, man. All right. And that's the, the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon Satan. If you could receive it would be the so-called white man. Okay. So when it says the devil is talking about a person, right? And that person or the progenitors of the devil will be the so-called white race. And the reason why I'm saying so-called white race, because there's no such thing as a white race or a black race all right those are social constructs created from the elite banking families and it even goes down into the curses where it says that we shall be called proverbs and bywords and those proverbs and bywords are social constructs like white and black okay so hey those don't really exist every person goes back into a nation right in total there's 17 or um, excluding, you know, the 17 nations, the heathen nations, all right? And everyone goes back into one of those nations, man. So it's a lot of things that Esau Edom has hid. It's a lot of things that Esau Edom has not want to, to be revealed, okay? Because if Esau Edom reveals who are the true Israelites on the planet Earth, all right? A lot of things would also be revealed as well. And he will be revealed as the wicked. Okay, and that's why in the times to come, all right, the scriptures speak about a famine of the word, right? A famine of the word. And a famine of the word, it speaks about how they shall seek to and fro. So in the times to come, we have people chasing the bag. You got niggas chasing, chasing cat. And when I mean cat, I mean chasing a woman. And you got niggas chasing an American dream. Okay, but there's going to be a time where you're going to literally be seeking to and fro, just like in the book of uh, the book of Eli, you know, that dude, he wanted, he, he was desperately trying to get his hands on the Bible. Okay, there's power in that book. If I'm not mistaken, that's what he said. 
all right and desperately these you know desperately not only just jake but desperately everybody's gonna want to you know to know the answers everybody's gonna want to know what's going on on earth okay and that family of the word is gonna be so severe and even in the book of ezekiel the third chapter 26 verse real quick did we finish off on there let me see let's finish off real quick so we can move on to the next point so it says it says for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time so hey, they know that they have but a short time and that's why they will come down with that great wrath and that great wrath is going to come through the way of the sword okay the sword you see and the heavenly father is using nero i.e donald trump to bring these things to pass okay so this is a short time man we're at the end of this thing and lord willing we be a part of yahweh bashima shah's elect the lord will have mercy upon us right because the the prophet Habakkuk or Habakkuk, uh Habakkuk the third chapter it goes into ha it says in wrath remember mercy and i remember the uh, elder apostle ariamlab went into that it's gonna it's gonna seem as if nobody's gonna be saved it's gonna it's gonna seem as if yeah how about shaman shah ain't gonna have mercy up because it's gonna be so much pandemonium distress there's gonna be so much killing right jeremiah 16 and 4 they shall die of grievous deaths but they shall not be lamented roughly paraphrasing you see so this is the time that we're heading into and i brought this out we we be a part of that number we we be a part of the elect we're praying that the lord had mercy upon us okay ezekiel the third chapter in the 26th verse it says and i will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth and that shall be dumb and shall not be a and shall not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house and what does that mean the lord is going to cause the tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth when you do that you cannot talk like right now i just had the tongue to the roof of my mouth so the lord is is, is being symbolic meaning that the messengers of the lord are going to be silenced in that time okay because the messengers of the yahabashimah shah are active right now man to the point now where you go on youtube if you want to know about what's going on to do is a hey, you know get acclimated <laughs> through the spirit man okay so it's going to be a time where the lord is going to remove his men all right so i said all that to say you know through the spirit i was here how about shah you know so again the title trump confirms plans to declare national emergency use military for mass deportations all right in the military this is where you have the u.n troops come in all right this is where the u.n troops come in because even though these troops understand who the boss is but a lot of these american troops have sympathy and compassion all right and this is why you're going to have the u.n troops come in for this mass deportation because these u.n troops don't have no ties to america they're not gonna have no feelings, man. The main goal or the main job is to, to get the, the mass deportations. And this is where you're gonna have a lot of conflict. This is where you're gonna have a lot of sedition. You're gonna have a lot of pandemonium, man. You're gonna have a lot of chaos, man. And through the chaos, order ab KO, this is where the order comes in. Esau Edom is gonna come with the save. He's gonna come with the order, man. So this is where we see things in. You know, Albarat the Zah, you know, he brings it. Albarat the Zah, these things happen because these things must happen in order for our kingdom to come to pass. This is uh, what the, the the prophet Ezra said. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, 2nd Ezra chapter 4, 2nd Ezra chapter 4, verse 27. It says, and cannot comprehend the things which are promised to the righteous in the time to come for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity so this current world that we live in is full of unrighteousness and that's why 
Hosea 4 1 says how the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants. He has a, con a controversy with the land, the inhabitants of the land, because there is no knowledge, no mercy of Yahweh Bashan al Shah. To roughly paraphrase the verse. Okay, so this world is currently filled with unrighteousness. That's why Isaiah the 60th chapter says how there is gross darkness to earth and gross darkness to people. Okay, and it says, but as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. You see, so the evil is sown, and that evil is sown is talking about America, Babylon the Great. Okay, the evil is sown. Okay, but the destruction thereof is not yet come because there's prophecies that have to that have to come to pass. Verse 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So, like the scripture says, if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then it cannot come that is, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So, America, Babylon the Great, has to be destroyed in order for the kingdom of the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, the kingdom of Yasharal by the fault, to be established upon the earth. Alright, so this place has to go down. And this is why, you know, you have to make the Lord your refuge. Alright, this is why you have to make Yahweh Shah your, your 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 habitation. You have to make the Lord your everything in this time, man. Alright, not just in this time, but period. Okay, because things are about to get real, as you can see. So it says President elect Donald Trump on Monday confirmed he would declare a national emergency to carry out his campaign promise of mass deportations of migrants living in the U.S. without legal permission. All right. So see how it made that distinction without legal permission. So a majority is a majority of the migrants which are over here, which are the Israelites and you have a few heathen mingled you know because again you have the UN troops you're gonna have these sleeper cells that are in here all right so you know the main goal is for those without legal permission but it says overnight Trump responded to a social media post let's see they said on day one, I will launch the largest deportation. So it says on day one, I will launch the, the largest deportation program in American history to get the criminals out. He said during a rally in Madison Square Garden in the closing days of the presidency of a presidential race. All right. And what is this going to cause? It's going to cause chaos, man. You know? to implement or bring the mass deportation that's going to cause chaos here in these streets of america man but guess what through chaos that's how esau edom is going to implement order all right so this is all strategic man so we're living hey the elder what did elder apostle tahar deem the year 2024 the hope for year of jacob's trouble all right so jacob's trouble might pop off next month we're in what november december jacob's trouble might pop off next month leading into january man we can see these things man all right so i brought this out i'm gonna leave the um this i'm gonna leave the article down in the description and you know lord willing brothers go through this but you know it's heavy because this dracon it, it shows you draconian measures and they're gonna stop at nothing to establish this nwo and that's why the heavenly father is gonna disappoint him so I just wanted to bring this out real quick. Lord willing, this blessed was edifying until the next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash. Give honors unto the apostles and elders of great mercy and every well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Next time, Shalom. Abba, Abba, Abba. Shalom.